You know, sometimes I'm coming for all the bouts I want to fight. You get knocked down. So, fella, you don't know what's coming. Be ready. You gotta get up. Keep going. I'd have been knocked down. Yo, yo, Diaz no sabe lo que se enfrenta este 29 de octubre. Feeling so tired, but you know I can't stop now. Came way too far, won't throw when it's out. It ain't looking real good, but I won't give up. Pac said that I gotta keep my head up, so I ain't going nowhere. I'm standing right here. You know what time it is, right? We ain't playing, we're coming to f up some feathers. I'm on my feet, the underdog, and I won't be beat. In the fire now, but I won't be. Stop doing much. Uh, he doesn't stop coming. Pressure putting off the ring. Jojo Diaz get off on what he does best is combination punches. Left and right. Books. Right. Now, yeah, you gotta climb. I mean, this is my comeback fight. Um, I feel like a lot of people are counting me out uh, because of my, you know, defeat against Devin Haney. But um, I improved a lot during, you know, just my time off. And uh, I just excited to go back inside that ring. I know that uh, Sapella is an undefeated fighter, a guy that's 26 and 0 and uh, 23 knockouts. So I know that he's gonna apply a lot of pressure, but. Uh, like I said in previous interviews, man, there's levels to this, man, and uh, I just can't wait to go out there October 29th and showcase my, my talents and my skills and just put on a great fight for all the fight fans. It's been a crazy journey, man. <laughs> life's, life's crazy, man. There's a lot of ups and downs and stuff in, in life, but I'm very fortunate that uh, I'm just... Uh, that God is always having my back no matter what, man. I, I just have faith in Him and I know that with everything that goes on in my personal life and just in my life, I just gotta learn and just keep on adapting. And I just grow and I mature from it, but I, I know that I just gotta keep on fighting and keep on progressing because that's life, man. Life, you're always gonna be going into battles. Or there's always gonna be trials and tribulations. And uh, I try to, uh, I try to uh, bounce all that and add that into my training resume. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm using that all as fuel and motivation so I could be at my best October 29th. Pues tiene mucho significado ya que es una buena oportunidad para seguir dándome más a conocer. Cada pelea en su momento tiene una importancia. En su momento fue la de eh, Héctor Tanajara, el contra un peleado invicto. Pasamos esa prueba, ahorita con la de Renal Alvarado igual, un ex campeón mundial, una buena pelea que, que me seguía posicionando y, y gracias a, al ganar esa pelea se nos dio esta oportunidad y igual ahorita nos hemos estado preparando bien porque sabemos que el aprovecharla seguiría nuestra carrera muy bien. Pues es una trayectoria muy larga, han sido muchos este, esfuerzos, muchos sacrificios, no nada más por parte mía sino también de mi familia, de mis entrenadores, entonces el ver ya ahorita toda esa cosecha que hemos sembrado desde hace años pues es una gran motivación y a seguir echándole porque sabemos que cada vez el camino es más complicado, los rivales son más difíciles, eh, las carteleras son más importantes. Ahorita es mi primera cartelera estelar, entonces tengo que igual aprovechar esa oportunidad para seguir eh, estando en los primeros planos. You know, William Sempeda came to uh, Golden Boy um, by a mutual friend. We signed him a few years ago and every time in the ring, he, he's proven, you know, he, he, he's, he's a very talented young man with a lot of dedication, dedicated to the sport. And his, his strength is conditioning. I mean, he seems like a, a young man, a young fighter, a young athlete that's just relentless, doesn't get tired and doesn't stop throwing punches from all angles. Every fight at this point is a test, and this is the biggest test of Williams' career, and he is facing now his second former world champion in Jojo Diaz, and he passed the first one a little, little difficult with Renal Alvarado, but Renal Alvarado's given everybody a difficult time. William El Camarón Cepeda!
And I'm the type of person that, that I want to challenge myself. Uh, even if it's guys that are that say that they're going to be better than me, I want to just keep on competing and, and fighting at the highest elite level and uh, just challenging myself, fighting guys like Devin Haney, fighting guys like uh, Javier Fortuna. I'm the type of person that that I'll, I'll never back, back down from the fight because at the end of the day, it's my legacy on the line and that's what I want to uh, go down as. Uh, once I'm all said and done, once I, my, my career is over with, I want people to realize that I didn't back down from any type of fight or any type of opponent and I wanted to fight the best because that's, that's what the fight fans deserve. They deserve to have guys fighting the best and fighting tough competitors. Zenith is my world, man. He brings uh, brings light to my day. He brings just uh, motivation to me every single day. And uh, knowing that I have to risk my life um, inside that ring, it's all I'm I'm okay with that because at the end of the day, man, I'll I'll do anything for that kid. He's he's my my heart and joy, and I'm always gonna provide for him. I'm always gonna showcase to him that I love him and that I'm able to uh, achieve and, and work hard so that way later on in the future he could see all the hard work that I put in. You know, Jojo's one of those guys that he's, he's willing to fight anybody in the division. And with that you take big risks. Along come wins, sometimes losses. But Jojo's the kind of fighter that uh, He's young enough, strong enough, determined enough that he can learn from some of these falls, we can call them, and setbacks, and get right back up and get in there. His experience is gonna play a big part, not, not only inside the ring, but outside the ring. The mental uh, warfare that Jojo brings, because he's seen it, he's been there, he's done that. He's gonna be trouble for anybody that steps in the ring with him. Bueno, pues eh, creo que eh, yo, lo que yo veo de Jojo es un, es un ex campeón mundial, un peleador con experiencia, un peleador este aguerrido, que tira golpes, que le gusta ir al choque. Entonces tengo que yo aprovechar mis armas. Eh, en cualquier momento él este, puede bajar su ritmo, ya que yo tengo más condición. Entonces eh, creo que es, es cuestión de estilos, también de estilos las peleas. Él puede hacer un estilo de pelea con René, yo con otro. Entonces, eh, hemos ido trabajando en el gimnasio nuestra estrategia y la vamos a poner en práctica. Digo, desde su estilo, yo sé que, que va a ser una buena guerra, desde su forma de pensar que también no le corre a, a rivales peligrosos, a buenos rivales. Entonces, sé que va a ser una buena pelea. Me he estado preparando muy bien porque sé que viene con muchas ganas también él de querer seguir este adelante, pero pues yo traigo más ganas. I just been very, very eager to get back inside that ring. And now that I finally got that chance and I got that opportunity to fight again um, on the zone, main event uh, in, La in San Diego, man, I'm, I'm very, very eager to get back inside that ring. So expect fireworks come October 29th. Pues el deseo, eh, las aspiraciones que tengo, el sueño que, que desde que inicié, siempre me levanto con eso, de que por algo inicié en este deporte y, y que voy a echarle ganas po, po, para llegar a lograrse grande. The need to win for both fighters. Uh, on one hand, Jojo needs this win to, to get him back into that world title mix. He wants to fight Ryan Garcia. He wants the big fights. He, he'll fight Lomachenko. He'll fight Gervonta Davis. There's nobody that Jojo won't fight. And with William, again, he wants to prove to the world, I'm ready not only for Jojo Diaz, I'm ready for the bigger names, the world champions, and take that world title back to Mexico. The fans do not want to miss this trick or treat uh, on October 29th because it promises to be a war.